right, perfect. Cool. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and Dean and I are so excited to be here back this Tuesday for you guys, and we brought back an old friend, which is Henry the Pumpkin. You guys know I love Henry. And this pumpkin, guys, comes in three different styles. It comes in what I call Henry, which has got the face on it. Then you've got Henrietta, which has no face. And then it also comes in a white version. So there's three different options for you guys to use uh, when you want to decorate a pumpkin. So all of these guys are available on the website, ellishomelandgarden.com, along with everything you see here today and so much more. They're getting a new product every day, so it's really exciting to see all the new fabulous things that they have that they're uploading to the website for you guys to look at. Hope you guys had an amazing Labor Day weekend. I worked my freaking tail off. Me, Morgan, my mom, uh, my mom's husband, Keith, my grandpa, um, Josh came and helped me. We were just getting everything ready for my opening of my store on uh, Saturday, this Saturday. And we made lots of progress. So thank you to all of them who helped me. And I looked up, and it's now Tuesday. So we're getting closer and closer. Next week, guys, I will not be here. And I want to say that because I'll forget to text Dina. So um, I won't be here next week. I'll be in Illinois at Crafters Convention, which I'm so excited for. I'm really excited because I thought it was a 12-hour drive, but it's only an 8-hour drive where we're going. So whew, that's better. So we're going to drive. Josh is a Mary Kay booth. So we're going to go up there and spend time and have fun. I'm going to be a presenter on stage. I think I'm doing a tree topper and... Um, after we go back from Weed Makers Live, I couldn't wait to get to another event. So it's going to be so fun to see all them. And then we're going to come back. And then I have the East Texas Angel Network the next week. And then girls October. And guess what? I got a stitch of Christmas in my house. And I've got a little bit of fall on the porch. But that's all I'm doing. I put a wreath up, some scarecrows, and happy fall, girl. We're going to call it a day. It's just too hot right now. Um, and I managed, y'all, believe it or not, to keep my ferns and my hibiscus and I have potato vine all alive in the front. So that's part of my fall decor because it makes it look full. So I'm just going to keep watering that and hope to God it stays until, you know, probably March when it gets cold. There's some mums in there. Oh, maybe some mums. Are those are they full sun or shade? Mine's down the pad on my front deck and it's full sun. Okay, because my porch gets like part, part sun, part shade. It should be okay. Okay, maybe I get some mums, y'all. I don't know. But I hope you all had a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Y'all leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Any questions you have, drop those down below. And let us know how you spent your Labor Day. Whether you spent it with family, whether you isolated yourself in the bedroom with a good movie. I'm all for that. Um, whatever you did, leave a comment. Okay, guys. So, again, we're doing Henry the Pumpkin today. We've got three fabulous Halloween, rib Halloween ribbons. And we've got all those fun glittery picks. This is an example of how you can use it. And, y'all, I'm sorry. I have to look around because, you know, Deborah up here scares me to death with stuff. And I have to make sure there's no mask around. Because last week she put one on the table nearly gave me a heart attack and we don't want to say anything nasty on here it's too early for that okay oh karen spent it with her family that's awesome girl okay let's move that big boy out of the way hopefully it stays right there without rolling off on the floor okay okay y'all so i've got three ribbons we're going to tie us a bow to go on top of the pumpkin which is the pumpkin hi lynn from pensacola oh god okay rebecca are you watching uh i forgot to ask you this morning Guys, we have an item of the week here at Ellis every week. I believe the pumpkin is. Um, and I think they're 25% off. So it's 70 bucks and then 25% off. Let's not make it. That's a little bit too much, man. It's about 58. 58, 60 it's bucks, guys. But the pumpkin's great because even though this one has a face on it, I, I think of that as something that you could transition. So you could use it for fall and turn it around to the side. And then for Halloween, you could turn it back around where the face is on it. And I think you'd be good to go. Hi, Wanda. How are you? Okay, guys, let's tie our bow. I've got a piece of wire here. And Halloween is a time to have fun. So this is when you can get away with using all kinds of great colors and, and fun, bright primary colors. I've seen lots of hot pink in Halloween and purples and greens. So it's all great, y'all. $55.99. $55.99 is the price of the pumpkin, guys. And it's on ellishomingarden.com. And again, I think there is two other options, one without a face if you're not a Halloween person at all. Or there's a white one if you want to change it up. And the white one we did a while back and we put some silver dollar eucalyptus in it. And it was so pretty, y'all. Okay, we're going to start out with um, a, the green ribbon. This is a one and a half inch. So I'm going to stack up the ribbons as far as the size goes. Then I've got this one. This is Happy Halloween. It's got some spider webs and some spiders on it. So we're going to use that next and put it in here. Okay. Guys, I'm also excited because I have an event tonight. I'm going to Bear Creek Smokehouse, and if you're local, you know what that is. But um, I'm doing a class there on how to do a pumpkin 
with succulents. A fake one. Okay, I'm not about to dig out all the guts on a pumpkin, but um, we're doing an artificial pumpkin, and we're going to show how to put succulents on it and some moss to dress it up, and I can't wait. I mean, everybody's going. My mom's going, and Keith's going. They never go. And uh, But my mom's like, I want to decorate a pumpkin. I'm like, are you sure? But anyway, so they're going, and it's going to be fun. And that's tonight. And guys, Ellis is open houses this weekend too, I think. Um, so make sure you check out um, your email. Signed up for their emails. I'm sure they'll send out information on there. Check the paper. I'm sure they've got all kinds of specials going on. And they've got pumpkins arriving tomorrow. Live pumpkins. Um, so that's always an exciting day, guys, because pumpkins, uh, live pumpkins are great. It's an easy way to decorate, you know, your porch with. Sherry just left that weekend, so yeah, it was... The things revolve around her birthday. Okay, yes, Sherita, guys, she's a ca head cashier here at Ellis in Longview, and it's her birthday, so I can't wait to celebrate with her. Oh my gosh, look at that four inch, guys. That makes such a big difference. This fabulous four inch is on the website. It's got the tinsel black edging on there, which is fun. Okay, so I did three ribbons and I stacked them by size. Okay, so I've got the one and a half inch, two and a half inch, and four. Pam says she can't get a print tonight. Pam Spur. Oh, Pam, I can't wait to see you. Pam, I'll bring your stuff. Okay, how about that? I got, I'm going by the house in a little bit, and I'll get it for you. Bear Creek Smokehouse, guys, that's like where people get turkeys and stuff for Thanksgiving. I think they sell barbecue there. You been there? Mm -mm. No. You ever had a fried turkey, by the way? Have I asked you that already? Mm -hmm. Okay, because Keith, you know, we did a Thanksgiving meal, and he was telling me about it. And I've never had a fried turkey, guys, like where you deep fry it. Okay, that was random, I know. But I just thought about it. Okay, look how pretty. So now we're going to fluff out our ribbon, our bow. And we're going to put this on top of the pumpkin, okay? And the great benefit of using pumpkins, like I'm using now, is that they are foam and so you can easily guys insert things into the pumpkin isn't that a cute bow really bright and fun okay so let's get henry over here now it usually has a uh, stem on the top just take that out because you don't need that and take off that trashy tag and now to attach our um bow here's what we're going to do get your wire cutters clip off the excess of the wire and we're just going to attach it by using a, a greening pin. Okay, so let me flip this around so I can see. Okay, put that in the middle and then we'll use some of these pins to attach it. So is anybody decorating for Halloween already? I was excited this weekend. I went around to some stores and I noticed they were getting their Halloween out. And even though I'm not a really big Halloween decorator, I love it. And uh, I like to see all the fun stuff they have. And I went in one store, guys, a couple weeks ago and it was completely full. Girl, they were almost sold out. And it's on, it's like September the 7th. Okay, now that I have the bow on, I'm just going to go around and I'm going to curl up my ribbon tails, okay? And this is just going to give him some hair. Okay, you know we love a little perm treatment, so we're going to put that up here on the top. Okay, y'all, I was telling Dina that this weekend, um, or this week, maybe it was on Sunday night, Josh always goes oh, to a Walking Dead party. He loves that show. I think it's stupid. But he goes to a Walking Dead party on Sunday nights, and uh, while he was gone, I was like, what can I watch? And so I was looking on TV, and I love this channel called the Sundance Channel. Y'all ever heard of it because they play older movies, and so... They had this movie coming on called The Lost Boys. And I remember when Dina and, and uh, I think Rebecca and other people gave me lists of like 80s movies to watch. Um, when you click on one of the movies on Amazon, it always comes up as a recommendation. So I was like, I have nothing else to do. So I started it and I was like 30 minutes in and I had to stop. But when I got here, I had to ask Dina, like, what the heck is going on? I'm confused. But she said to keep with it that it's kind of a vampire movie. So do you guys like that movie, The Lost Boys? It's 1987, I think. Um, but it's pretty good. And what's that guy's name? Kiefer Sutherland? Uh, is that the guy that was in uh, Designated Survivor? Okay, I, I knew he looked familiar, but he was really young then. Okay, guys, look at Henry, honey. She has got, or he has got some ribbon on him with some bows. So cute. Okay, this is probably the only item that's not on the website. And this is just a great filler because you've got greenery and you've got some color with the orange. Okay, so let me cut this apart. 
Okay, Kayla, I need, I'm going to finish it eventually. I don't know when I'll have time, but I do want to do want to finish it. It is good. Melissa Hudson. Hey, girl. Okay. So I'm going to cut a few pieces of this, guys. You're going to be amazed at what a difference it makes just by adding a little bit of greenery. Some other things that'd be great is like eucalyptus and maidenhair fern. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fall foliage, but if you wanted it to be, you could always do the maple ivy teardrop or swag. Okay, here we go. If you're attending Crafters Convention next week, get, leave us a comment. Dana's going to tell me. Um, I can't wait to see you and meet you. And if I haven't met you before, girl, you better come up and say something, okay? Pumpkin is the item of the week. Yes, $55.99 is what they said. Okay, I'm putting in my filler. You can come up two guys underneath. Friends with our daughter and daughter-in-law are Hocus Pocus crazy. They're already decorating for Halloween. Oh my God, me and Dina love Hocus Pocus, y'all. And uh, I'm dying to go to Salem, Massachusetts because you can be there where they filmed it all. And I think it's in Salem, too, that they have the Halloween town. Like, they decorate where the courthouse is, like the pumpkin. Is that, is that? I thought that was on the West Coast. Just kidding. I saw it. I well, I know they do it somewhere, right? Where they put the pumpkin and stuff out in yeah, Halloween town. I don't remember. I, thought it was I love Coast, Halloween I don't town. remember. You know what movie I've been wanting to watch, Gina, that I haven't seen in a while is Tower of Terror. You know, remember that Disney movie? By the elevator in the hotel? Yeah. Love it. Okay. Kelly was asking about Paradise last night. Oh my God, Kelly. Okay, y'all don't kill me, but I have been swamped and I haven't been home. And here's the deal. On Monday nights is when Morgan and I get together to watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or The Bachelor in Paradise. But she, uh, we worked all day long getting stuff ready and Josh was home yesterday because of the holiday. Thank you, Labor Day. And so um, I could not <laughs> watch it. So I didn't watch last Tuesdays and I haven't watched last night, but promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I will get caught up and we will catch up very soon, okay? I've just, I've had so much going on that I haven't had time, but it's all recorded, and I can't wait to watch. And I like to watch it almost when it's recorded, too, because you know you can fast forward the previews. Who's the host this week? I haven't seen anybody yet. I don't oh, know okay. Okay, guys. So. Hi, Sandy. I can't wait to see you either. Okay, so uh, I always give starting and stopping places on all the projects that I do, and this could totally be a stopping place, okay? So we have our bow, and we have a little bit of greenery, and it really makes it a beautiful little headdress up there. Jordan, that's what I was thinking too, but I wasn't for sure. Amanda, I've seen that, guys. Clickbait on Netflix. Uh, Dean, have you watched it yet? Yes. Oh, look at Dean. She's been doing her homework. Okay, was that not so good? It and I good. never thought, close your ears if you haven't watched, I never thought it was going to be that lady. My, my bet was on that, like... And episode episode three, three. Then I thought that'd be too easy because that'd be the friend because it's really twisted up like every five minutes. But can you imagine? Th this is why you don't bully people on the internet or mm -hmm. you don't pretend to be somebody because it can end up in somebody dying. It's crazy. Yeah, that was so good. Okay. Look at these little ghosts, honey. So we're going to put these ghosts on here. So let's cut these apart and put these on next. Jordan says... It's in Calhoun Towns in Oregon, and that's what I was thinking, but I'm not for sure. Oregon, okay. Well, somehow I have to convince Josh that we need to go to Oregon just to see that, okay? I don't know what else we could see in Oregon, but uh, we'll see that. But I heard, I heard Oregon is pretty. I'm dying to go to Canada. Maybe I'll see, I get on a Hallmark movie set, you know, because that's where they film all the movies and stuff. They film a ton of stuff in Canada. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. I wonder why. They film Virgin River there, and it's stunning. I would go see that in a heartbeat. I looked up where they film Virgin River, and it's in Canada. I forgot what they call the actual lake or whatever where they get all the shots from, but I'd go there and stay. Okay, y'all, I'm adding a few little ghosts. I'm not gluing because this is for demo, okay? But here's what you do. You glue everything in. It sticks directly in the pumpkin, okay? Makes a big difference. Oh, look at this pick, y'all. I love these. I had some of these... Um, my website the other day. Look at these. They're eyeballs. Is that not fun? Move that over. Are you going to go to the theater and see the new Halloween? If I can get somebody to go with me, but I don't like going to the theater by myself. Oh, see, I do. Here's the deal, though, y'all. Let me tell you. I'm sure Dina feels the same way. You know, if you watch the news too much, you get nervous. And I, my mom's always taught me this, so I guess it's a good thing. And I'm sure Dina learned this, too, when she was growing up. 
I don't care if I'm going to the movie theater by myself. I don't care if I'm with a large group of people. First thing I do is figure out how the heck I can get out of there if something yeah. happens. Like, you see all this stuff about movie theaters and people going up in there? No. Like, I know where the exits are. I've already told everybody with me what we're going to do if something happens. Like, I've planned it out. And that's just not at the movie theater. Like, I do that, like, if I'm at a football game in a stadium, I've, I've done it at the mall, I'm at the bank. I mean, I always think of plan B. You got to these days. People are crazy. But I like to go to the movie by myself because then nobody wants to eat my popcorn, no one wants to eat my hot tamales, and I can sit there and do my thing. Morning, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Okay, we're going to add these little eyeball picks. And I'm going to bend these down, y'all, because I want these to kind of spill out of the side. Sandy says there needs to be a Hallmark movie about a floral designer who fixes up his sister. Yes, uh, y'all. Is anybody watching that's single? That's a man. Um, Morgan, my sister, honey, she is single and ready to mingle, according to me. She probably don't care, but you know what? We got to get her hooked up. Are you a doctor? <laughs> I want you to be a pathologist. Can we talk? Okay, I have been watching this show. I think I told y'all called Harrow. It's on Hulu, and he's a pathologist. And my God, I am fascinated. Like, I can't do blood and guts. Like, you know, one time a kid fell down to the playground, I blacked out. But I love how they can, like, do autopsies and figure out what happened to you. Is that interesting to you? I love that stuff. And this, what they can tell you from seeing something minor is insane. So, yeah, I've been watching Harrow, Andrea Brown with Ranchhouse Guys. She told me to watch that, and we're almost done. It's so good. <gasps> and we started this new show last night. Do you have Hulu? You have Hulu. Okay. It's called uh, Only Murders in the Building. Have you seen it? With Steve I've Martin. The, the... Oh, God. It's got Steve Martin. Martin Short. I clicked it. It's on my list. And Selena Gomez. It's only three episodes so far. It's so good. Are you watching Nine Perfect Strangers? Mm -hmm. Are you caught up? It's getting good. I think Melissa McCarthy and that guy are going to get together. I think too. Okay, y'all. I'm so sorry. I mean, I just, you know, when I see Dina, we got to catch up. Okay. <laughs> so, this is what we have so far. Look how cute. And this is just the beginning, girl. We've got all of these fabulous picks. Hint, the pumpkin. And by the way, don't go on the website and type in Henry because that's just the name that I gave it. But this is just called the Jack o' Lantern. But uh, the Jack o' Lantern, guys, is the item of the week and it's only $55.99. And again, turn it to the side if you don't want to see that. Garcelle, wasn't that good? I'm so glad y'all are our people and that you like to talk about all this stuff because, you know, here at Ellis, here at Designs by Dylan, when I'm at my store uh, and in my group, Dylan Stevens, I like to teach and I like to have fun. And, you know, I want to just be able to talk about anything, so I'm glad that we can. By the way, I hope everybody is recovering from the hurricane. Um, I have a friend that's going to be at Crafters Convention, and he's not going to get power back till the 29th of September. Wow. And you know it's hotter than heck right now, especially in Louisiana. Um, so, thoughts and prayers are with you guys, but let us know how things are in your area if you got affected by the hurricane. Okay, y'all. I'm going to add a few of these little curly sprays. And these are just fun. And again, this is for Halloween. And these are straight, but you can leave them like that. You can bend them, but you can also kind of curl them and make them even more fun, which is what I do a lot of the time. What will you do in the shadows? Okay, I mean, I'll have to check that out. Never heard of that one before. Says it's funny. Okay. Do anybody say they're going to Crafters Convention? See one that says she's going to live stream it. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. Live stream tickets, I think, are available still, guys. Okay. I put a few of those curly sprays in there. But now look at this black one. Isn't this fun? It's got little swirls on it. So we're going to put a few of those on here. I have a story for y'all. Can we talk? Okay. That is crazy, Gar Garcelle. I hadn't heard that before. But mm -hmm. thoughts and prayers are with everybody in the Louisiana area. And hopefully, you know, power gets restored soon. Things go back to normal, as normal as they can be. And uh, you guys get back up and running. Okay, let me tell you what happened to me. So for my store, I needed some ceiling fans. I wanted black ceiling fans. My ceiling's black. I didn't want light kits on them. Just basic ceiling fans just to move some air. Because, you know, I've got 980 million lights plugged up in there. So I went to Lowe's and I bought two ceiling fans. And I, on the front of the box, it says black finish ceiling fans. I got two, brought them in. Keith came, my grandpa, to hook them up. And um, they opened one up. It was laying out. And they opened the other one up, and it had brown blades. And I was like, 
what? It says black finish on the front of the box. And it had brown blades. And so I was like, you got to be kidding. So on Labor Day, no, on Saturday of Labor Day weekend, I thought it was a good idea to go to Lowe's. So I, I go in Lowe's, y'all, and it is crawling with people. Like, what are you doing in Lowe's? Anyway, I go to the customer service department, and there's a guy in front of me. And I swear, y'all, he has got a lawnmower, a weed eater, a blower, a this, a that. And it's all been used one time, and he's returning it all. And I was like, and there's one person. So I'm standing in line, standing in line, and I'm holding this box of the ceiling fan. And uh, finally, the girl says something to me, and I said, girl, I just need to switch this out color-wise. I don't need to re refund or anything, just even exchange different color. She said, okay. So I put that on the counter. So I go back to the fan department, and after it takes me 10 minutes to get back there, y'all, because there's so many people. And I uh, get back to the fan department, and of course, you know what irritates me more, Dana, is when you get to where you need to go, and there's people standing there. And I'm like, that is where I need to be. So I stood and waited and waited, and then I finally got down there. I got on my hands and knees, went through all these boxes, and I found one that said black finish. So I go up to the front. By the way, my mom's there, too, on a different trip. She's on aisle seven, and she's got 12-foot boards, and she's already knocked over 10 people in the aisles, okay? And you should see her. My sister is rolling her eyes because my mom is heated because she can't find anything. So she's got 12-foot boards. I'm on the fan aisle. I get up to the front to the customer service department, and I, there, now there is like 18 people in the customer service line. And I'm like, the returns. And I'm like, you've got to be getting one person. So I'm standing there. And you know where I get stuck? Right in those little things you walk through when you steal something. So while I'm standing there, these things are going off because I have a fan in my hand that uh, technically hasn't been scanned through the register. So I'm sure everybody's looking over here like he's still in a ceiling fan. So, swear, 30 minutes, I get up there to the front. And, are y'all ready for this? I get up there to the front, and I tell the girl, I just need to do any of exchange. She said, okay. I said, before I leave here, will you please get some scissors and open the top of this box so I can make sure this is the correct fan. She said, sure. She opened up the box. It had brown blades. And I was like, you've got to be kidding. It says black finish. She calls like five people. Okay. And finally this man comes over there and uh, girl, you just have to flip the blade over. Okay. So one side is brown, one side is black. So I went all the way to Lowe's, stood in all that line, went the, the fan I had. So I left Lowe's with the same fan that I brought in and I got back to the store and I said, Keith, don't speak to me. Just put the fan up. Next time, and Morgan was back there mouthing like she always does. I told y'all you should have turned the fan blades over because they were probably double-sided. So anyway, it was just a nightmare, okay? But never go to Lowe's on a holiday weekend. That was, I don't know what they were buying. They were buying everything from outside stuff to ant killer. It was just crazy. <sighs> anyway, I'm heated, y'all. I don't even know if this is my Dr. Pepper, but I'm going to have some. Okay, what were we doing? We're putting this on here, y'all. Me either, but apparently that's how all fans come now. Because they want to give you two different options. But I was thinking in my head, who wants a black fan with brown blades? I mean, that's like putting brown pants on with a black shirt. You don't do that. So, anyway, I, this is why I can't do anything. So, that took two hours out of my day that I could have been doing something productive. But I was standing in line to, to bring back the same fan that I brought in there. It was just not good, y'all. And then my mom, <laughs> she was still in Lowe's when I left, trying to move those boards around. And they didn't have the certain gauge cord we needed. So she had to go to Home Depot. And Morgan called me and said, Mom's going to Home Depot. I'm sitting in the truck. and Because she's afraid somebody's going to steal the wood. And I'm like, oh, my God. That'd be me. Remember that time I loaded the wrong truck? So 30 minutes goes by, and I text Morgan. I'm like, where are you at? And she was like, Mom hadn't came back yet. Maybe I should send out an Amber Alert. And I was like, maybe. And so finally, 45 minutes later, my mom comes out, and she says that the cord that she needed was on the top of a box in a, on a pallet at the top of the shelf. And she said she was standing there, and the guy um, was just sitting there on the forklift, and she, he's, my mom said, why are you taking so long? And she said, I've got to wait for all these people to get off. And my mom said, give me five minutes. So she walked up down the aisle and said, I need a cord. And she pulled that gate around her by herself and closed off the whole aisle and got her cord. But that took 45 minutes for real in Home Depot. Does anybody want to go shopping with us? It's always fun. Okay, y'all, I'm putting in a few more fun little picks. These are so cute. Look at those little swirls, guys. Aren't those fun? So I know they sell fudge here at Ellis. It's good. And they have um, those, what are they called? Candy cons and cashews and almonds. You like those? Those are good, too. But after you smell them for so long, like I don't ever yeah. want them anymore. <laughs> but they do. They are good. Are you a fudge person? See, I'm not. I like it's very rich. One piece of fudge will do me in. But I'll tell you what I do love, Dana, is those chocolate chip cookies from McAllister's. You ever had those? And now they have a bag of mini ones 
Mm. I can eat the whole bag. Okay. Oh, my mom doesn't play games, y'all. I'm surprised she has not been in jail. I mean, it's just crazy. She's got so many uh, speeding tickets. She has to pay like a yearly fine. Okay, like that's how bad it is. I'm like, mother, slow down. And then we moved to Hallsville, guys, uh, like four years ago, and we were there five minutes, and she ran a red light on accident, and she got a ticket. And I'm like, see, mother, you don't need to leave the house. I'm surprised the police officers don't know her by name. I'm sure they do. But she drives like, you ever seen uh, 101 Dalmatians when Cruella like flies over the train tracks? That's my mom, because we have a train track right in front of where we turn in to go in our neighborhood, and she's always flying over the thing at two wheels on a yellow light. And I'm like, she says that um, when she was in driver's school, the yellow light means hurry up, get through it, you know? So I'm like, oh my God. I do like brownies, but just not fudge, like actual fudge. Okay, y'all. Look how cute Henry is. Oh my gosh. So we've got all of that stuff, and then we've got the ribbon. We've got um, the little swirl picks. We've got um, the ghost. So cute, y'all. All the way around. And again, here's the top view of it. Really cute. So again, all of these things can be, except for that one little bush, can be found on the website, guys, ellishomeandgarden.com. Um, the item of the week is the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern. It's $55.99. And again, I don't know if the other ones are on sale, but there's two other options. One's without a face, and one is white. So if you want to completely go a different route. But listen, Linda, if they're out of white, get you some spray paint. Okay, I spray painted some of these before, and it takes two seconds. Don't get too close, because one time I did it, it looked like she was bleeding. So, uh, you know get far off but you can spray paint this in two seconds spray paint this hot pink or purple or lime green and that's gonna make a big difference or what you can do is you can spray paint it black and you can get some of that glitter while it's wet drop the glitter all over it girl she'll be glitzing like a stripper it's fabulous so I do that a lot of the time on um, like last year I made some Halloween trees for my department 56 and I took green ones and I spray painted them black little bottle brush trees and I dropped glitter on them, big chunks of glitter, and it's so cute. And then people were like, where'd you get those? I'm like, I sell them for $39.99. So, you know, you could resell them too. All right, guys. I love you for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your week. Again, I will be gone next week to Illinois Crafters Convention. I hope to see you there. Um, pumpkins are coming this week at Ellis tomorrow. I just talked to Mark in the greenhouse. They're coming tomorrow. So you guys can check that out. Please pray for me. I'm about to go to the bank and open up a business account again. Because I opened up a business account uh, to get all my T's crossed, I's dotted. No one told me you had to have money in there. Okay, I just did it. I just did it for my credit card machine, like to get it ready. Uh, that and close the account. So now I got to go open up another one, and um, I got to call the people on the phone, the customer service. So that could be a nightmare. But y'all pray for me. And uh, again, thoughts and prayers with everybody in the um, area of Louisiana. Hopefully you're safe and everything is not too bad. And you get power restored soon. You guys get some gas for your generators. And uh, things can, you know, we can start to turn the page from this. But uh, it's just, uh, hey, the news scares me. It's just all those storms and COVID and everything like that. But um, all of you guys, I hope that you're doing well. All right, guys. Love you for watching. LSHomeandGarden.com. You guys can find me at Designs by Dylan on Facebook. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Next time here at Ellis Home and Garden. Dean and I will be back. I'm going to be not next Tuesday, but the next. They'll do a fabulous replay next week, guys. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.